Have you ever wanted to do something but held off because you were afraid to step outside of your comfort zone? We've all been there. That new language that you always wanted to learn because you wanted to visit this favorite country of yours? How about this instrument? That new painting technique? Asking out your crush? Quitting your dad and job? Or maybe that idea for a short film? If you're anything like me, then you probably hesitate because you're scared. You see the amount of work and time that you would have to invest. You would already see all the hassle miles ahead before you even took the first step. Now, some of those examples that I mentioned are rather life-changing examples. So what is he talking about, you might ask? My thing that I wanted to talk about is not that life-changing. This is a Gundam modeling channel after all. But hey, I needed a hook. So please hear me out. In the end, something did change my life and I'm about to share with you what that is. Every time I start a new video, the catchphrase goes, My name is David and I'm on the journey of discovering the wonderful world of Gunpla. Building, weathering, customizing and diorama stuff. You will find it all here. Up until now, I've done it all. I've tried different weathering techniques, I've tried customizing with panel line scribing and pla plate. I've built my first diorama and this was all such a blast. But there is one thing that I left out up until now. I've never tried out airbrushing. I've always considered this to be the ultimate skill and therefore way too hard to learn. Watching pro builders finish their kits with a nice color scheme was always something that I wanted to try but was too intimidated to do so. Because what kind of colors would I use? Acrylics? Lacquer? What mixing ratio is good? What's a good airbrush? What other tools do I need? What's a good primer? And on top of that, I don't have a dedicated hobby space in my apartment. The room I'm building and filming in is an office that I share with my wife. There is no way that I can lay out all my hobby stuff here, let alone run an airbrush compressor in here. I'm already grateful that she lets me live out my creativity in here by transforming the office into a film set from time to time. However, I still can't shake the feeling that I'm missing out if I'd never tried airbrushing. Enter my Warhammer friends. A while ago, I went to one of their painting sessions and made a curious discovery on their workbench. It was an airbrush pistol, but without any compressor. Instead, it had a small tube attached to where the cord to the compressor would normally be. Turns out that this was the compressor. And that day, my friends, I learned that cordless USB airbrushes are a thing. Speaking of revelations. It's quite handy and fits nicely into my hand. Despite its look, it's very light and sleek. It's a double action airbrush, meaning you push the trigger to release the air of the compressor and pull the lever back to release the color flow. And this is where my knowledge of airbrush ends. If you are looking for a more qualified review, then please check out Barbatas Rex's one. It was actually that video that convinced me to buy this airbrush. And this is where my painting journey begins. I leaned on the info that I got from the Barbatas video and got some Mr. Color bottles along with some thinner. According to several tutorials, a mixing ratio of 1 to 1.5 would be best. I was a bit hesitant regarding this ratio. After all, the USB compressor is by no means as powerful as a dedicated standalone one. A quick spoon test proved my doubts wrong and I was left with a perfect coverage. At this point, my spirits were very high and the excitement started to grow. Before applying the paint to the kit, I had to clean up some of the nub marks. I imagine this step is very dreadful to most of the builders and I'm no exception here. But it is a step that is very much necessary to make everything look clean. And then it was time to apply the paint. And I won't lie to you, I was quite nervous at the first time. But screw it, let's just jump right into it. I was already at a point of no return. And what can I say? I grew more confident with each piece. 
Controlling the air and color flow became easier and easier. I learned that my initial fears were unfounded. Airbrushing is not rocket science. Although I do believe that it's an art and a craft on its own that demands a lot of knowledge in order to be mastered. I'm by no means playing it down. All I'm saying is that I was too scared to tap into a skill that is so much fun and rewarding. And this brings me back to my initial point. Let's put external circumstances aside and just consider your own mindset. Sometimes fear, doubt or whatnot keeps you from making new experiences. It's yourself who holds you back and 99% of the time it's all in your head. And I know that taking this one initial step requires a huge amount of work and that is perfectly okay. You can overcome it. You just have to commit to it and take your time and then go one step at a time. Your first chords that you play on your guitar will probably sound horrible for sure. And your first painting will probably have a composition that is way off, but who cares? You made the first step and that's what counts. From here on out, it only gets better. Oh, krass. <laughs> das sieht so cool aus. What? <laughs> das ist geil. Oh. Das hat sich echt gelohnt. Das ist echt der beste Moment. Nurturing a healthy mindset needs constant work and I wish I could be better at that myself. What matters is that you silence this little voice in your head which says you're not good enough. Everything that I started here on this channel, I pushed myself to step outside of my comfort zone and throw myself out there. Trying out new stuff can be so liberating. Breaking those self-imposed chains will empower you to become a better you. I wish you this very same courage and a strong spirit to try out the same. That deep sense of self-confidence that you feel after even the smallest accomplishment outweighs any doubt that would keep you from taking that first step by a landslide. I can tell you 100% that you will feel like a better person and no one can take this away from you. So the next time you are overthinking, try to think of the small victories along the way that ultimately culminate into one big victory that you can be proud of. And with this, I will leave you to the beauty shots.
And that is that, my friends. I hope you liked this somewhat more inspirational approach to this video. Uh, in the second part, I will be building a diorama for the camphor and I will be including this Apache made by Revel. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. Take care.